So that game, 2-0 in the Champions League, another clean sheet against Bologna this time. And I think we've now scored 20-something goals and only conceded four in Slot's first nine matches, which is crazy when you think about it. I mean, man came in thinking, how the hell is this person going to replace Jurgen Klopp? Uh, obviously, he ain't done anything yet to say he has replaced him. But one thing it definitely has done is given this Liverpool team a new lease on life where they don't look as rash, we don't look as rattled, we seem to be more calm on the ball, in possession, we don't seem to panic a lot anymore, at least we haven't needed to. Even in the case of that 1-0 uh, at home to Nottingham Forest, it wasn't like we just lost our heads. We still tried to do whatever we could, just couldn't score goals. And that was the um, the shit thing at that point. But essentially, he has done something to this squad, and that is uh, not to be uh, undermined because he has done a fantastic job thus far. Players are performing. Everyone is doing what they need to be doing. But for some reason... I still see things like this where Mo Salah gets an 8.5. Now, you can say he scored a goal and an assist. Yes, fair enough. But I decided to do a little bit of thinking again. When I looked at that, what does Saka do besides goals and assists from uh, Don, you know, Chelsea Don, I thought, well, that's nonsense. I mean, what do you want your winger to do? Do you want a goal and an assist regardless of how they play? But then I thought about it and I'm like, Salah has really not been the Salah that we know of. He ain't taking on players like he used to. Okay, we know age. Um, he's not winning any ground jewels like he like he used to. Not to say that he did a lot back then, but still, something. At least you're going to contest the ball. I expect you to win it and then run away with it. Do a little fancy flick. Do a little shimmy and then you know go towards goal or cut it across for for an assist for somebody, something from Salah. Um, again, a cracking goal. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying he's saying Salah is rubbish. He should be benched or anything like that. I mean, get yourself an assist. Get yourself a goal every day of the week. It's a fantastic ball for for McAllister to to um knock in at the at the back post. There, a nice little run in, and then his his shot was an absolute fizzing banger. That was an R1 circle finish, just bang top bins. So I'm not saying we should do anything there. But really, if I'm looking at this, I'm just like, lately, Salah will have like shit bang average games and then bang, he'll get an assist and a goal and he gets 8.5. Like, this is what frustrates me when you have players running around, running their socks off, sweating hard, doing the grafting work, but man got an assist and a goal and then all of a sudden, man of the match. Crazy. Defensively, I don't expect him to win tackles, so that's fine. Two out of four crosses, no successful dribbles. Two out of three shots, obviously one of them went a little bit wide, but decent overall. Chances created, got himself the three shots, one goal, one assist, and he gets 8.5. That's mad. When you look at Sobosloy, also got himself an assist. Had a few shots on there. Three out of four dribbles. One out of two tackles, one. Four recoveries, five defensive actions, six out of eight ground jewels. No aerial jewels, I don't expect him to. But shit like this, like, that is a solid shift. But because man didn't get himself a goal, he gets a 7.9. I'd much rather give that that 8.5 to Sobosly rather than Salah. But I understand there is the, the goal in that as a fact. I know people start freaking out. Oh my God, you don't rate Salah, man of the match, blah, blah, blah. Not what I said. If you listen to what I said, I get it. He's going to get the goal. He's going to get the assist. That automatically makes you a man of the match, which is why I said I don't want it to be that way because that is frustrating. Man comes on. It's like FIFA. You know when you play play FIFA career mode and then you come on, it's like the 75th minute. They sub you on in FIFA and then you you start on 6.0 rating. You bag yourself the winning goal. Automatically, you get like a 9. Why? (laughs) How are you man of the match when you played bare 15 minutes, even in a video game? That's what's crazy to me. Anyways, that's the situation. That's how it went there. But you know what? Not going to go that much on about it. McAllister was solid as well. Gravenberch was great. I mean, shit could have given it to McAllister as well. He had a decent game. He had a fan. Look, one shot accuracy, one out of two dribbles, <laughs> more than Salah. One out of two long balls, more than Salah. You know, four out of six ground jewels, one aerial jewel, one out of three, foul three times, recoveries five, defensive actions six, four interceptions. This is also probably worthy of man of the match. But no, we've got to give it to Salah because it's Mo Salah. And look, people will be salty in the comments, perhaps. They might think, what's this man talking about? My whole thing is, Salah is great. Don't get me wrong. Sign a new contract. Stay as long as you possibly can, Mo Salah. We love you. We want you to stay at Liverpool. But don't make it like 
Salah just gets a goal and assist and fantastic. 10 out of 10 performance. Like, fantastic. It's like, no, there, there is more to the game. But this is why people say we need to change who the creative outlet is. We need to change who the main goal scorer is. At the moment, it is Salah. So that's a bit of a problem because Darwin Nunez ain't scoring your goals. He'll score your goals, but he's offside. He'll make your runs. But again, it's a problem. How do we play with Darwin Nunez? Play him on the left? Do we play him as a lone striker? Do we maybe do it as a front three, perhaps? Maybe that will work better. Well, we don't know at the moment. Diaz had himself a decent game. Robertson on the yellow. Canate was a bit so-so. Trent looked like he was getting ripped every time left, right, and center. I seen him. Uh, or I've, I watched him in that game. I'm just like, bro, he got spun so many times. You think it was a Beyblade. It was crazy. Look at this. No accurate crosses. Five out of nine long balls. One out of two tackles. One, two duels. Three recoveries. Turn through ground rules, but I'm pretty sure he got rinsed, you know, multiple times. And I know we're not there for his defensive actions. We know he's going to be spoken about when he comes to defense. But man, I just saw him get spun uh, like a fair few times more more than what I want to see in my liking from uh, from a right back. At least that plays for Liverpool FC. But and he got hooked in the 85th minute as he does. Um, yeah, Soboslai doing his thing, getting himself a bit of a rest here. And look, if it wasn't for Allison in goal, these men could have actually scored themselves a couple of goals themselves because you know they, they were decent. Allison had to pull off two decent saves. Plenty on the ball. Uh yeah, four throws, recoveries, there's the touches. But yeah, those um those two saves were key because yeah, and don't forget they hit the post twice as well. One deflected off the crossbar, another one bottom left hand post in the first half. So yeah, probably fortunate to say that we beat them. But you know what? It's it is three points, and and as it stands, we are looking good in the now joint Champions League table. We're in fifth place. Obviously, six points uh, on the goal difference. Obviously, Dortmund scoring seven this morning didn't exactly help. But five goals scored, one conceded at the moment, two wins from two. And we've got uh, RB Leipzig next. And RB Leipzig at the moment, I think they got pants, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they got pants by yeah Juventus, 3-2. And Juventus were down to 10 men. Go figure. They were down to 10 men, so we've got to play them next. It's May. We see Milan down here. Salzburg, Zvezda is here as well. Crazy, but fifth at the moment. Again, we've got seven teams on two wins. City got the draw, and they got the win, and they got to play Sparta Prague next after this place. Slavia Prague or something like that. Got to play another team. I don't know who they play. Anyways, yeah, that was the story of the tale. 2 0. I'll take it. Um, probably wasn't the, the, the prettiest of games. But like I said, under Arna slot, the control is there. We don't look as panicked. Uh, but there are still times where teams do come at us. I just hope that it's not going to be something that happens on a regular basis. So Salah redeemed, getting himself a goal and an assist. Again, other players I thought were maybe more deserving of the man of the match performance, at least according to Footmob. But I think he got the official man of the match performance as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it might have gone to somebody else. I could be getting that wrong. But yeah, now we move to Palace away, 12.30, Saturday. Fuck's sakes, i got a bad feeling about this. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Anyways, drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Up the Reds, see you next time.